Hello everyone, let's look at an easier set of games and tournament which is quite evident. It came in ZAD 2018. Let's read and solve this set. Six teams are playing hockey tournament where each team is playing against each other team exactly once. At an intermediate stage, the status is as follows. So this uh, table is of any intermediate stage. Okay, now some points to be noted. Point one is the team that score more goals than it concedes wins the match, which is very obvious. While if both the teams score same number of goals, the match is declared drawn. That is also very obvious. The second point is in a match played between team X and team Y, if team X scores one and concedes none, then the score line would read as team X team Y one comma zero. So this is all very, very simple to understand. Now let's look into this table. We can see that number of matches played by each of the teams two. Also, we have the idea or it is given the number of matches won by each of the team, lost by each of the team and drawn by each of the team. Let's look into the question. The first question says which of the following matches are play are yet to be played. So we need to see which matches has been played. Now let's look into question two, which of the following score line is a possible outcome. So we need to see what are the possible outcomes in the intermediate stage. So now let's uh, focus on this table. If we observe this table, we can see that team D has drawn both the matches that it has played. And this match which has been drawn is drawn between B and while playing with C. So team D, let me write it down over here. Team D would play two matches, one match with B and one match with C. Okay, team D and both the matches would be drawn. Also, if you look into the numbers over here, it is quite evident that team C has never conceded a goal. So the match which it has been drawn by team D would be 0, 0 or 0, 0. Now, overall team D has scored one goal in favor. So in the match in which it has drawn with team B, it would be a 1, 1. Hope this is very clear. As of now, we know the score line of one match played by team B, one match played by team C and all together we have just two matches. So we can do the complement and see what would be the score line when B and C will play the other match. So let me write it down. Team B has played one match with D. Now team B will play another match. So B and I don't know by with which team it will play. But total number of goals that team B would score altogether team B is scoring five goals. One goal it has already made. So in the other match that team B would play, it would be four. Now total goal conceded by team B is one. One goal already it has conceded. So it would be a 4-0 win for team B. Now when it is a 4-0 win for team B, it can only happen when it is playing with team E or team F. Now further observing about team E, we can see that team E has lost both of its match. Now to lose both of its match, team E has to secure at least one goal or team E has to concede at least one goal. So it cannot give, uh, concede all its four goal when it only plays with B because it has to lose both the matches. So this makes it very clear that team B scoring or the match between team B and the other team would be with team F and it would be a win for B with 4-0. Now let's similarly do it for team C. We know that team C is playing one match with team D. Okay, so we can find the complement because it is just two match which is being played. Altogether, the goals made by team C is two and in this match with team D, it is not scoring any goal. So when team C would play with another team, which I don't know as of now, it will make two goals as it has never conceded any goal. So it would be a 2-0 win for team C. I don't know which team team C would play as of now. Now in this, we have seen that B and F has played a match in which team B wins by 4-0. So we know about one match with which F plays. So we can find the complement of it and see what if or what would be the situation when F plays the other match. So F, I don't know which team it would play, but I can definitely know the score line. So altogether F has never made any goal. 
okay so it would be zero and f has conceded seven goals altogether four goal it is conceding with team b and the other three goal it would concede over here now in order to concede three goals who can make the three goals or which team can score three goals we can clearly see that only team A and team B can make three goals in a match or overall in fact. But we have all the data for team B as of now because we know this, we know this. So it makes it very clear that F and A would play the match and A will make three goals. So as of now, we know all the two matches played by team D, all the two matches played by team B, all the two matches played by team C and all the two matches played by team F. So let's find the complement of the other match which would be played by team A. So in the first match with team A plays, it plays with F and the score line is 0-3 in which A scores three goals and concedes zero goal. So A would play with other team. I don't know which team, but total goal would be two and A altogether has conceded one goal so it would be 2-1. Until this intermediate stage, altogether 12 by 2, that equals to 6 matches would have been played. We can see that 2, 2 and these two matches have been played and we know all these matches. So what is remaining is E over here and E over here. Also, you can cross check it. The total goal scored by E would be 0 and 1 so the total goals scored by e is 1 total goals conceded by e that is 2 plus 2 that is 4 is 4 over here so we know each of the matches and the score line of each of the matches till this intermediate stage that's all we can do and let's try to answer the question which of the following matches are yet to be played okay uh, team A and team B and team C and D. No, C and D, ha the match between C and D has already been played. So this option is gone. Similarly, option 2 is also gone. Uh, team B and D, B and D has also been played. So this option is also gone. Uh, team C and D, this has already been played. So this option is gone. The only remaining option is E. Also, we can see that team A and team B has not played any match till now. Team E and Team F has not played any match. So this is the only correct option. Now let's look into question number two. Which of the following score line is a possible outcome in the tournament? Okay. So the first option is A and D, which is 1 comma 0. A and D still they haven't played any match. A is over here. A is over here. So this is not possible as of now. A and E that is 2 and 1. A and E 2 and 1. Yes, this is a possible outcome or this is an outcome. So this would be a correct option. Let's check the other options. B and D 1 0. No, B and D it's 1 1. So option this is also gone. C and F. C and F is not playing any match and will eliminate. None of the above will also eliminate because we have already got a correct option. Now let's look into question number three, which of the following is score line is not possible outcome in the tournament. Now the first option is A and F that is four zero A and F four zero. Now we have seen that A and F would be three zero if we just reverse the order. So this is not a possible outcome. So A is a correct option. Let's check for the other things B and F four comma zero b and f 4 comma 0 yes this is a possible outcome so this option is eliminated c and d 0 0 yes it is a possible outcome so eliminated c and e 2 comma 0 c and e 2 comma 0 so this is a possible outcome so we'll eliminate this okay we'll eliminate it all of the option are possible no only option a is not possible so the correct option or the correct answer for this question is a Hope you have understood it. This was an easy to moderate set. All of the questions would have easily been solved if you have drawn or if you have got this deduction. Hope you have understood it. Thank you.